Ever climbed a mountain, ever caught a fish, ever looked to the stars and made a wish, ever shot a bow and arrow in the dead of night, ever read a map, ever flew a kite, ever made a fire, ever sang a song, ever tried to run a marathon, ever put yourself to the test. I do your best, I do your best. Deep in the heart of Western Africa, these brave and fearless men pound the rocks of mountains, searching for a commodity more precious than gold. Total spiritual fulfillment. What are these stones? These crystals that converse with ghosts and heal the flesh. Hello, everybody. We're here at the Psychic Convention for everything that you can imagine from crystal healing, to, um, to, to nice flesh rubbing, it's a good convention for your soul. And we're here, and it's wonderful, and I'm very excited to talk to various people who tell me about the lovely things they believe. Well, we're looking at here some wonderful uh, some rusty bands who's assist with the arthritis. Wonderful, I don't really know what that is. Oh wow, there's actually so many tarot readings I can't even fucking believe it. Wow, oh, oh look at this, look at this. Is this a, oh, what is, what is that, sorry? Yeah, I could, I could actually go for hours. I could go for hours with that. I could literally be there for hours with that rattle. You know, Joe, that, um, that almost all of these stones have been mined uh, by by, uh, by people who've had a real hard time in mines. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I dream of a cake tower. But this is the most beautiful tower of all. This is a tower that contains crystals, that contain everything that makes us human. They're the best crystals in the world. They're the best crystals. They're so lovely. They're full of love. They're full of power. They're full of energy. And it's a cake tower. I mean, to be honest, if, if I did have a lot of money, I would just have this permanent cake tower just revolving all the time. Uh, whoa, 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 this guy looks nice. Who's this lovely man? Hello, sir. I'm Bob. Nice, uh, nice to meet you. Is it all right if you talk to me for a bit? Sorry, what would you say your name was again? Andy. Andy, Bob. Oh. Pleasure to meet you. Please so Andy, what, what's going on here? What's happening? What, what, um, what are you doing? I'm here helping out. I'm, I'm uh, being looked after by these two wonderful ladies. I'm uh, making sure it's uh, making sure there's uh, fresh water and you know refreshments available for them. Very busy. Refreshment man, I like that. Very, I very so what's refreshment. going on? What's happening with the crystals? What's, what, 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 what are these things? Well, for healing, for energy, for different purposes. You know, crystals, as you know, have lots of um, energy in them themselves, and stones, precious stones. They're full from under millions of tons of immense pressure. So, so sorry, is what you're saying that a crystal retains some kind of energy? Yeah. Like diamonds and crystals have got a certain power, a sort of energy in them, because they're formed under such power. Nature's fibre optic. Is it that that energy from the crystal can convert to all energy as human beings? Yes, it gives, you know, certain ones are good for healing, things like um, um, certain crystals are good for healing, certain goods for certain, you heard about the chakras in your body, the energy lines in your body. Crystals work the same as things like silver would. Silver healing, silver is used in healing, it's used in wound care healing, use a lot of silver in wound care. So. Would you like a drink of any sort, by the way, before we get? Uh, just a half a Coke will do all right. Yeah. How did I get involved with it? I was just saying to the ladies <laughs> over there how I got involved with it. And basically me playing football. 
uh -huh. by a graveyard, graveyard uh -huh. and yeah, spirit started talking instead of the players. Yeah, wow. scary stuff. Yeah. But then it went away, then it came back big time. Yeah. So I went to see a medium. And she basically sort of like said, well, it's your time now to start to work. I thought, what a load of rubbish this is. Did you feel that you were communicating almost accidentally, or rather spirits were coming through to you? They was coming through that to me. You weren't, you the know, voices, it was mostly yeah. the voices of spirit that was coming through at the start. No one else was hearing them, apart from me. What was a real moment for you where you fully knew that you were making a connection the biggest experience yeah. was lying in my bedroom after getting divorced, basically, being on your own, going back to the parents' house, going back to your old room, mm -hmm. and then everything in that room lifted. My bed lifted off the floor. No. Everything lifted up. Wow. So I left my parents' house. I basically had three or four bin bags in my car and then I got a text and it was Sue and she said you can stay here. What I wanted to say first of all was Sarah thank you ever so much for having us. Uh, I mean it's just so incredible to meet you. If it's okay to ask, like, yes. what was it that first inspired you to sort of read people's tarot and actually like really like learn spiritually what people okay. Up to, right? I've always had it as a child. I need to be me. I, I need, need to, to follow find me that bit. and follow my path. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just opened it all up again. Wow, wow. And it's just gone from strength to strength to strength. That's such a, an empowering and lovely story to hear, actually. And, you know, weird. it's good. Yeah. It's, it's good to be weird. <laughs> I like being you know? weird as well. Yeah. yeah, we all are. We all have our strengths and weaknesses. What was the moment when you were a child that you realised oh, I, I could see things that other people don't see? When my mum was going, who's telling you that? And I was only diddy little. And I just remember thinking, well, well, everybody can see. And I didn't know who it was. I just saw this person. And of course, he was deceased. And I thought he was alive because I saw him alive. No way. So, yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Well... Okay, so this is life purpose. Okay, oh, do you want to take any card? Yeah, take any, any card. card. I'm gonna take three. Right. Okay, okay. Right, ah, very spiritual cards. Sometimes there's a little sadness there. Yeah. It's about time you did things for you now. Absolutely, yeah. You know, I am seeing you almost like surfing through life or skimming yeah. through life surfing <laughs> through I can life. Swim. so you can't swim no. okay then maybe that's what they're saying it's almost like skimming through life yeah. so it's almost like swimming or or you'll never sink i've got to say even though you can't s swim i can't no. you're never going to sink i have almost drowned a, a couple of times okay but I, I just feel you know no this is symbolic this is not symbolic, practically sorry. all right sorry. i just feel you're not going to sink my darling all right, so remember that's been said. If I lay I've on my also, back, I'll be okay. I've also got the name, I feel I've got the name Sebastian or Seb, Sebby, Sebastian, Sebastian to give you. All right. I actually do know the name Sebastian. Okay. But Seb Sebastian was the, was, the, was the first man, when I was in college, he punched me in the head. You're a little bit like a professor. So whether or not you've got your degree or even have got your PhD, no, I just... No, no they, they didn't send me a degree. Uh, okay. Then you've got the degree of life, which is about life's experiences. Wow. All right. But you are a nice person. You're very sensitive. You've got a massive sensitivity there. Kind of All right. All right. Mm. Who, I don't know who has the... I don't know if it's epilepsy or who has the fits... Okay, no. remember that's been said. I'll and and I just feel I've got an old fashioned name to give you, which is Ralph and also the name Peter. Ralph? Yeah. Ralph. Ralph. What's Maybe. going on here? I'm yeah, all over the shop. Saying, so talk to spirit, talk to your, your angels, talk to your so loved ones. Talk to your angels. Instead of worrying, ask mm -hmm. for divine guidance. What is your heart's desires? This is about your life. Nobody oh, else's. Oh, this is the heart's desires. Yeah, and this is so, about this is about what you want in life. It's an important card. So it says, the angels are supporting, guiding and protecting you. Absolutely. Is that what you said? Yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry. absolutely. But I do feel, you know, 
you're very driven. It's like I want to be driven with you. I'm very driven. I'm very confused. The speaker. Yeah. So what does this mean? Speaker so means you speaking out for yourself. This is you getting the promotion and the leadership and, and you know, being in charge. Can that actually be but true? That's I've got to say, so you've been the most insightful and kindest person I've spoken to in about 15 years. Ever climbed a mountain, ever caught a fish, ever looked to the stars and made a wish, ever shot a bow and arrow in the dead of night, ever read a map, ever flew a kite, ever put yourself to the test. Do your best. Good job, boys.